Hi creative people of the internet, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be, let, let me just, okay, how do I even start with this? Sometimes, late at night, it's a weird way of putting that, sometimes, instead of going to sleep, I'll go on Instagram and just look at the explore page for a lot longer than I'm supposed to, but it's totally fine, right? Cheekies? Here I am scrolling on the internet at midnight, like one does, and I come across these videos of a weird concoction that people put together, pouring it into things and making random things with it. And that specific thing is called resin. Now I wanna do it. So we're gonna do this. So the one video that I saw on Instagram that I really enjoyed was of, um, I thought it was kind of funny, but apparently it's just like, it's a thing. Um, people put little plants into these like resin, into this little silicone thing, they pour stuff into it and then you have a plant bracelet. Okay, <laughs> let's get started with this thing. I still get nervous recording these. Okay. I still haven't figured out my my way of talking on the internet yet. So sometimes it like goes in between like car salesman and like sarcastic person. Let's get started with this. What did I get? So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I just started it, so don't worry, nobody does. And uh, no one followed me on here either, so. But if you want to, and you want to follow along with the things that I'm doing, which is super fun, because why not just do arts and crafts on a Wednesday instead of doing the website design that I was supposed to be doing? Um, if you want to follow along, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Abigail Creates, and I will be putting up what I bought for that, what, what the craft is gonna be for that week. And this video goes live on Friday, every Friday, starting this week, because I'm really bad at keeping a consistent schedule. But it's gonna happen now because New Year's resolutions, even though it's March, you can make a, you can make this with me. And really, this was relatively inexpensive, like most of my crafts, because I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money on crafts. You know what I mean? This specifically is jewelry resin, which when I talked to the lady at the Hobby Lobby store, she said that really it's just it's the same. So this is just in a smaller bottle instead of buying like a giant tub of resin, which was really, I really wanted to do that, but then I would have had to justify all of the uh, resin, you know? So we're starting small and I uh, got this little jewelry resin thing. So this is 12 bucks. And then I bought this uh, resin mold, which is in the shape of a bracelet. Hopefully it fits me. Then I went out into my front yard and grabbed the flowers that I have out there. Uh, actually, it's a stretch. I have weeds outside that flower. I just grabbed those, uh, which is this nice little clover. Well, this isn't the clover, but the flower that comes out of the clover. And then this is just like a little dandelion. Is it? No, it's not a dandelion. It's the flower that comes out of the grass. I do have a fern. I'm like messing up all my plant names today. This plant. A foxtail. And so I have a foxtail outside and I just cut a little thing off. And, and then I have these pretty flowers that attract bees, which is good, save the bees. And uh, we're just gonna go crazy. Oh, they have little flowers within the flowers too? I never knew that. Like I mentioned before, because of the fact that I would be just sitting here crafting and while that's not entertaining in itself, some commentary would be cool. So yesterday I laid in bed for a lot longer than I needed to because I couldn't fall asleep, which is a normal thing. And uh, not a normal thing for me, but just yesterday specifically because I still had, I was so tired, but like my mind wouldn't shut off, which is normal. Oh, this comes with a box of this thing. Because I don't really know my audience demographic because my audience demographic is like 12 people. If you can think of anything, if you want to comment on this video, go ahead, please. Feel free. Let me know what you would want me to talk about. Or if you just want me to be quiet and just not talk. Just don't watch the video then. These are instructions, which I am going to read because this seems like there's chemicals in it. Latex or vinyl gloves. I don't have that. Probably due to the recent outbreak of um, sicknesses with the coronavirus. I'm assuming that there's probably not a lot of just latex gloves lying around and I don't want to take that from the medical community. So I'm just going to risk it and uh, not do it with gloves. So yeah, no problems, it's fine. I just got a plastic bag. This seems a lot more mm, dangerous now that I'm looking at it. Protective eyewear. Is this thing gonna like explode? One part resin and one part of the other thing. And then I have everything that I need. 
And then with this one, use mold release, not included. What? No, this is how I saw them doing it on Instagram. I just saw the lady put the stuff in there, put the resin in, and then take it out. Allow casting to dry overnight. It's gonna be a lot more complicated than I thought, but you know what? So I'm just gonna break apart some of these pieces of the, of the little grass so that I can get, you know, some, some good foliage in there. I was thinking, like, what topics can I talk about? And uh, what lessons can I hopefully pass on to you, the viewer? And um, I don't have a lot. Like, I don't, I don't know, I'm not gonna claim that I know a lot of things, but I know some things. So I just thought maybe I could just Google interesting topics to talk about and then see how that goes. So we're gonna do that. Today's topic is gonna be 35 random facts that I didn't know and I'm gonna talk about with you while I do this. 35, the hashtag symbol is technically called an octothorpe. Uh, also the hashtag thing in general, uh, it, cause it came out a while ago, okay guys? Like I've been around for a bit, you know what I'm saying? Like when the beginning of the whole like social media movement thing kind of started, you know, I started on MySpace, which, no, actually before that, I started on Zenga. I don't know if anybody remembers that or who knows what, you know, cause I didn't really post anything on there. It, I wasn't like an angsty teenager where I was like, oh my God, my feelings. But I did have it to post awkward pictures of myself um, doing that thing where you like put the camera up to the, to your bathroom mirror and then you go like, and, and then the harsh flash causes um, the ugliest picture in the world. But like at the time, like that was cool. I've been around for a while. So I was, I'm very aware of when the whole hashtag movement started and I would see it in really random things like, I don't know, As I saw it on like America's Got Talent or whatever those shows are and uh, thought it was weird. I'm like, why do I wanna use a hashtag? I don't get it. And I didn't really get the point of it <laughs> until um, I started working in digital marketing and then I was like, oh, these are actually kind of relevant. These are, you know, I just thought that people just put hashtags just to like look cool, but no, like you can search for things on there. So. The Octothorpe is very useful. I really hope I pronounced that correctly because it's not going to university was a waste of time. So, okay, I put all the little grass things in there. Hopefully that looks okay. Um, okay. Okay, I'm super excited about this, guys. Okay, next trivial fact. Who knows if I'm gonna get through 32, honestly. I might just get through a few because I talk more than I should. Uh, number two, the hundred folds in a chef's hat represent the hundred ways to cook an egg. Is that true? Um, number three, the longest wedding veil was longer than 63 football fields. She's too much. Okay. Like, like what if somebody stuck on it like super far away and then all of a sudden you're like, you know, from 63 football fields away. Four, some cats are allergic to people. I think that's just cats really showing us what they feel, you know? Um, apple pie actually isn't American. I don't even like pie. This isn't real. Number six, the unicorn is the national animal of Scotland. That's not real. If you're from Scotland, please tell me if that's real. I don't think it's real. That's stupid. And if it is real, why? I feel like those are animals that are real, that live in Scotland. The largest known living organism is an aspen grove. Okay. Oh yeah, that's nice. That looks like a garden. So I'm gonna put these little yellow ones in here now. Purple and yellow are complementary colors, so this will probably look super cute together. You can hear blue whales heartbeat from more than two miles away. What? That's a loud heartbeat. Um, also me exercising, that's probably what it sounds like. Just like dun, 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 dun. Okay, am I done with this? Oh, there's not enough on that side of that for sure. Oh my gosh. Like, how do they know that? With some of these facts, it's like, people have a lot of free time, you know? As I sit here making a resin bracelet. Um, I shouldn't be judging people. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. Anymore, and it might like start going over the top too much. Let's start mixing stuff. It's chemical time. I need one cup of this. Got it. Okay, so now I'm 
mix it. Ooh, is that like, ooh, not even four something. Oh, I already made a mess. Ah! I'm making a mess. Okay, it's cool, we got it. Ah! Oh my God. You didn't know. Ah! see why you're supposed to wear latex gloves with this stuff like is this deadly not deadly but like poisonous i'm not gonna put it in my mouth you shouldn't be putting anything in your mouth anyway because the coronavirus is going around like nuts right now you know what i'm saying this looks about right this looks <laughs> exactly the way the lady did it on instagram i'm just gonna peel off the top part you know because like a cake like i'm making a cake i don't want to make cakes that was a bigger shite show than I expected it to be. Oh my god. Should I put this on like baking paper or something? I feel like all the resin is going to like. I mean, if I do this correctly, dope. I'm gonna go get napkins, cause. And now I have another silicone thing. It's for ice cubes. It's made for ice cubes, but um, I'm gonna do, since it is silicone, and I don't use it for ice cubes, because it's like, these are giant ice cubes. When I bought it, I didn't, I thought like, oh, how fun, giant ice cubes. There's no reason for this, other than the fact that I wanna see what it looks like. So we're gonna cut some of these little flowers out. Thank you for your service in this world. And I'm so sorry that it's ended so abruptly. Um, there, and then these little flowers is the creative corner. Okay, so. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just kinda wanna see what it looks like, you know? So I'm gonna pour resin, the rest of this stuff, in here. Oh, I just squished the crap out of that flower, didn't I? Well, that flower was supposed to be a lot more vibrant and alive, but my brain didn't think that maybe <laughs> It would squish the flower. It's gonna be artistic, don't worry. Uh, so this time I'm going to pour the resin in first a little bit and then like to give it like a baseline resin. I have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna even it out too. Then I'm gonna put some of these little leaves in. And then I'm gonna put And I'm gonna pour more. Yes, Picasso would be proud. Oh my God, Abigail. Overall, this was a very messy, oh gosh. This was a very messy project. I do recommend listening to the instructions and possibly reading the instructions. Why well, I have not, not learned that before. But if you are gonna do this project, we're gonna see how this turns out tomorrow. Um, so this is the first part. We're gonna check in tomorrow, see how this goes. I was supposed to film this yesterday and I was supposed to have this video up today, but I'm like, mm. oh, like I know I'm supposed to be enthusiastic or whatever, like, let's see this, but I'm just having an off day. <laughs> Let's see how this turned out. And then I'm gonna get this uploaded today. Do you ever have those like hormonal days where you just feel like... Like what? Like yesterday I was fine. Two days, two days ago, great. Everything was wonderful. And then today, it's like... A spoon drops and I want to cry.
why? Why? If you're a woman out there in the world, I get it, there's a scientific reason. I just don't like to feel like this. And even with all the positive mantras and stuff, I still feel like poop. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's just... Hi, welcome back. It's been two days, and so this thing better be dry now. My first attempt of doing anything with resin. And we're just gonna see how it goes. I don't know how to... I think... Oh, that pops out a lot easier than I thought. So you just... I think I'm gonna cry because this actually looks kind of nice. And my hormones, you know? I don't know how long it takes to kind of harden because it's still not all the way dry. I'm kind of proud of it. Wow. It's, that's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of like looking at an aquarium of flowers, you know? That, I feel artistic, creative. It made me actually a little bit happier. I don't feel as like right now. Does arts and crafts do that? Like, you're on your lady time, and so you're like, mm, and then you start doing crafts, and then you're like, mm. the mess that I made in here. Is this dry? Yeah, it's dry. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! This was unexpectedly kind of cool. What the heck? I made little ice blocks. Oh, and I didn't even realize that it had like a little shape to it. This is cool. It kind of like, took out some of the color from the, like the purple is not there at all. Like there's like a little bit of purple, but, um, and it turns some of the green, which I don't know why, but I mean, these are kind of cool. I think, I think we could do something kind of fun with this in a later, later video, like update resin video kind of thing. And the second one, which still has some like grass pieces coming off, but I think I can just kind of cut that out. Whoa, I mean, art. Oh, like what if you made picture frames and stuff like this? That would be cool. The yellow looks really beautiful. Maybe you can make like a little like a little necklace out of it. And then it's like, I mean, that's kind of obnoxious, but. Wow, this is the first time I've ever done anything with resin. It's very entertaining. Making art and some crafts, okay. Well, this took a dramatic change from feeling like absolute trash to feeling a little bit better about myself and the art that I created. Yeah, so you know what? During this time of absolute um, craziness, I guess, with the coronavirus and stuff, um, I think it's good to be distracted. And I know right now that all the forms of entertainment that we usually go to, like the movie theaters or events and stuff like that, are kind of being like closed down, right? So, I mean, you're gonna be spending more time indoors anyway, isolated. You know, and if you have resin in your home, or if you have um, any, maybe you have a Hobby Lobby nearby, just, you know, safe distances from people and wash your hands really well and maybe go buy some resin and follow along with whatever little tutorial thing that I did or do this video or, you know, make your own little art, post it, tag me, I think it'd be fun. And um, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm gonna be doing more crafts since I'm staying inside more than I usually do, which is 80% of my day. And, uh, you know, maybe doing some more of these little light craft videos with things that you can find inside your house so that you don't have to go outside, I guess. And maybe people, if you're not in the US or if you're somewhere else in the world and you wanna do some crafts, I'll find things that are inside of the house that you could already kind of have to um, keep you and keep me from going crazy you know, and uh, keep us entertained, have us do something kind of productive instead of just sitting around and watching Netflix all day. Could be fun. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the, I'm gonna not stutter and I'm gonna end the video right there. And thank you so much for the people who have watched this. I'm having a good time doing this. If you like it, go ahead and thumbs up the video and uh, make sure that you're subscribed to this because you know what, we're gonna be spending a lot of time indoors, so. Let's get some crafting going. Okay, get a little bit creative. I'll do an update video on like what I do with this, which I think would be fun too. That way you're not just making a bunch of stuff and it's like useless and around your house. I want it to be useful. I want it to be something that could add to your life, but also just making useless stuff for yourself is fun too. So anyway, 
Catch you in the next video. Bye. I didn't put the microphone on again. I'm a bad YouTuber. Hi.